Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will look at how to manage themes within our Flutter app. Basically, themes can be broadly classified under light theme or the dog theme. And in order to manage themes within our Flutter app, we try to have a switch button anywhere in our Flutter application and we try to toggle that to switch between light theme or the dog theme. Or there is yet another way like we can make use of the system preferences and update our Flutter theme accordingly. Or in other words, our Flutter app should be smart enough to read the system preference either it is going to be a light theme or dog theme and make our UI dress up accordingly. In this video, we will try to address the second approach where we make our Flutter app to read the system preferences and update its UI for the light theme or the dog theme. By doing so, we eliminate the boilerplate for man the state separately for light theme or dog theme. Rather, we can simply specify the theme data right at the top of the widget tree inside the material app and the Flutter will do the rest of rendering process all by itself. And what we have here is a simple example of the same where we have a basic counter example app and it is in the light theme by default. And if you just go to the system preferences and change it to dark theme and now if I get back to our counter example app, it automatically switches to the dog theme. We aren't writing any coding for managing the states. Rather, the Flutter has intelligently determined the system preferences and has switched from light theme to dog theme. And with just few lines of code, we'll be able to achieve this in our Flutter app. Hope you got a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in this video. With this idea, without any further delay, let's directly jump into the coding part and get this done. First, let's start by creating a Flutter project and we can make use of the shortcut key which is shift command and p try to search for flutter and select new flutter project it provides with few templates like it is going to be a package a plugin or module or a simple flutter application you can just choose the basic flutter app after specifying the path you can provide the name for your flutter project let me name it as theme app now we have our basic counter flutter example app up and ready and let's try running it now we have our basic counter example app here and let's start with the coding part First, let's try to get rid of these commands. And if you see here, by default, inside the material app, we have the theme specified where the primary color is given as blue. If you change it to red, you see that it applies globally to all screens in your Flutter application. But this is not something what we are about to discuss here. So let's get rid of this. And for specifying the themes for light and dark, it is going to be very simple. You can just specify it as theme data. You can make use of the theme data dot light. That's it. Which means that a flat app is going to take the light theme no matter what the system preference is. Or else if you want to have a dark theme for your application, you can specify the dark theme and give the theme data as theme data dot dark. Now we have provided values for both theme and dark theme where the theme data is going to be the default one and the default here is the light theme for the dark theme we have provided the value as the theme data dot dark and now if i go to the system preference and change it to dark theme and get back to our app you see that our app has dynamically switched from light theme to dark theme you can also specify the theme mode here light dark or the system you can specify system here and there is yet another thing like if you want to provide your custom color preferences for a light theme or dark theme say for example this floating accent button color doesn't match with the dark theme and if you want to provide your own custom color then you can do so by creating a separate theme class and listing down all your color preferences there so let's look into how to provide our own custom color preferences font styles so on and so forth for both light theme and the dark theme and to do so, let's create a separate file called themes here in the lib folder. Now here inside the separate theme file, let's start by creating a class and name it as theme class. And this class is going to hold pretty much all the color schemes what we are going to use in our Flutter application. Let's create a separate theme data for both light theme and dark theme. Since we are going to make use of our own custom colors, let's define that here. I have a separate color for light theme and separate primary color for dark theme and few other colors. Let's start with the light theme. Inside the light theme, let's hit the primary color as the scaffold background color. Under this color scheme, you can make use of the copy with method and provide the primary colors the primary color what we have for the light theme, which is a kind of a dark pink color. Okay, that is what we are going to have for the light theme. Just the same way we can make use of for the dark theme. For the theme data, we can set the theme data to dark and provide the scaffold background color. And under this color scheme, for the copy with method, let's provide the primary color as the 
dark themes primary color now we have provided our custom colors for both light and dark themes now let's head back to the main.dat file and here in order to get those changes reflected you need to get rid of this theme default theme data and provide your own custom theme here which is the theme class dot light theme similarly theme class dot dark theme and if you save you will now notice that color what we have for the app bar by default in the material theme has now changed to some color which is even more dark so this indicates that our flutter app is now overriding the existing material theme and applying the color theme what we have provided you can also check by providing your own color themes say for example if i want to change this floating action button color to red just in case of dark theme mode you can provide that here floating as a button theme and provide the background color as colors dot red fairly started you now notice that you can see the floating as a button has changed to red color but it does not apply to the light theme mode because we haven't specified any floating as a button styles here for the light theme and this theme data is not just limited to colors you can also provide your own custom font styles font family etc here just the same way you can also customize your button styles as well here in this theme data you can explicitly provide the button themes for elevated button which will globally apply to all screens in your flutter application so this is how you can manage themes within your flutter application and update it dynamically in runtime Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.